we celebrate today the life of St. Katiri Takawita, a young woman and member of the Mohawk Indians of North America who resisted pressure from her tribe to marry and instead entered the Jesuit mission near Montreal. At the age of 23, she made her public vow of perpetual virginity and she remained faithful to her culture, devoting herself to good works and praying for her fellow Mohawk Indians. At the age of four, her parents and brother died from a smallpox epidemic. She would subsequently die at the age of 20 in 1680. It is said that 15 minutes after her death, her face, pockmarked with smallpox scars, grew clear and luminous. There's, there's much to admire about this unique young woman, her fidelity to her Indian culture, which she remained faithful to as she embraced the Catholic faith. But what truly struck me was the claim that 15 minutes after her death, her puck-mocked face that she bore since the age of four grew clear and luminous. In the gospel today, we heard that Jesus began to reproach the towns where most of his mighty deeds had been done, since they had not repented. And Jesus voiced strong disappointment with peoples he interacted with, who had received so much and yet showed so little appreciation. Mighty deeds had been done for them, yet they did not respond in kind. The prophet Isaiah acknowledged the same truth and often urged people to hear the voice that entreats you. Katiri Takawita heard that voice and responded. And while alive, she did not fix her eyes on things that are, the, that are seen, but on the things that are unseen. For the things that are seen are for a time, but the things that are unseen are eternal. From the time of Jesus until the present moment, God's voice has been entreating us to embrace his message, to embrace his son, calling us to repentance. He has been presenting us with a gift, and all too often the gift is refused. It is the same gift that St. Kateri Takawita received if we too hear the voice that entreats us and respond, we too will be made clean and luminous upon our death. <laughs>